Sunt vorbite în inițiu. Are avem fiar în tec zona. Good morning to everyone in this room. Honorable Prime Minister, the launching the new government strategy for cooperation with civil society for the period 1922. By giving voices to citizens, civil society promotes pluralism and open spaces for civic engagement and participation in public sphere. This is particularly important for the EU perspective and for the sustainability of important reforms in Kosovo, which are in the pipeline at the moment. Such reforms imply firm political choices that can be legitimized only through broad consultations processes and by a wide consensus of all citizens in Kosovo. For this reason, I believe that a strategic engagement with civil society is crucial. A cooperation framework with active CSOs that are capable of effective monitoring of key policies, but also empowering citizens to better understand and contribute to economic and social reforms that, that have impact on their lives. This strategy builds on achievements of past projects supported by the EU, and I'd like to praise all government bodies and the CSOs that have contributed to this work. In fact, the participatory approach was essential for building the sense of mutual trust and ownership by all responsible ministries as well as by CSOs. Through our continued working together over the last years, we have witnessed important reforms, in particular with, with regard to public consultations with civil society and public funding of civil society programs. Nevertheless, there is still much space for improvement. The participation of civil society organizations in public consultations is still limited. 14% of consulted acts have been received comments in 2018. And the way consultations are managed and promoted by some institutions is still not adequate. When it comes to public funding of CSOs, the overall procedures need to be more transparent, with particular attention to avoiding conflict of interest in evaluation of project proposals. The government should also increase efforts and resources to ensure full ownership of the strategy and its long-term sustainability. I would like to welcome the commitment to the supporting of the development of volunteering for all age groups. This is an important element of cohesion and solidarity in society. Volunteer programs should become regular activities of CSOs to promote genuine citizens' engagement. Finally, let me stress the importance of setting up a new council for government cooperation with civil society. This council will not only be a joint monitoring mechanism of the strategy, but will function as a platform for structured dialogue with CSOs representing their constituencies, hence a tool to promote good governance. <coughs> to conclude, I would like to reiterate the EU's strong support to the implementation of the reforms foreseen in the strategy, reaffirmed by a number of ongoing and planned projects to strengthen capacities of CSOs. I wish you all the success of this new phase of cooperation as well as a fruitful <coughs> discussion today. Thank you.